Battleball.com here with Leonard Stewart, second um, video blog of the season. Uh, tell us, Leonard, a few fans have asked um, how you're finding Newcastle, how you're getting along, and uh, which kind of players within the team that you're getting on with best. Yeah, um, I think that's actually a great question because I was asked the question when I first got here. And obviously, I wasn't able to answer it the way I am now because I've been here what, for two months now, or three, two and a half months. But um, Newcastle, I'm finding, is a great city. It's a lot of things to do. Um, it's a lot of sights that I want to see I haven't seen yet. But um, the fans are wonderful. Um, I was welcomed very well. And um, so I, I love it here. I actually um, like driving down here by the Keyside, by the water and stuff like that. Um, to answer the second part of the question, um, normally, you know, we all sort of kind of hang with guys our normal age. I'm, I'm cool with everybody on the team, obviously, but sometimes I find I'm, you know, more um, hanging with Jeremy because we're almost the same age. We got, you know, the same situation. We got a lot of comments. So, but everybody on the team, you know, I find myself hanging with them. Another fan asked about Rashid Wallace. Um, where did you play together at? Um, and do you still keep in touch? Yeah, um, me and my friend Rashid actually played together in high school. Um, at the time, I was in 11th grade, he was in the 12th. He was um, the number one player in the country at the time. Um, and so it, it was a great experience playing with him. We went undefeated, we was the number one team in the country. But it's a funny story because like he, ha he has a summer camp at our high school that we played at. And every summer, we're together. But we would just leave it at that. But this last summer, we exchanged numbers and we've been emailing each other all year up until like um, three, four days ago. So I'll send him an email about um, him. I actually sent him an email the other day about him having 36 in Chicago. And he said he's been keeping up with me. So we actually stay in contact a lot more this year. And uh, what NBA team do you follow? Is it Philadelphia? Um, yeah, I mean, because I was born and raised in Philly, um, I always got a thing for the Sixers. But uh, I wouldn't say I was uh, any team is my team, you know, because I, I like the Lakers because I like Kobe because he's from Philly. I like Detroit because of Rashid. Um, I used to like Milwaukee because one of my teammates played for them, Lynn Greer, but he's in Europe now. So I wouldn't have, say I have a favorite team, but Philadelphia, you know, because I was born and raised there, that in the back of my mind, they always going to be there. And um, which other sports do you enjoy um, and which other teams do you like to follow? Yeah, actually, I really enjoy watching the tennis. Um, I love watching Wimbledon tennis in the summertime. You know, it was so happened last year, um, I played on the team with um, Clint Kleister's um, husband. Well, it was a fiance, but down there married. Um, I actually went to their wedding and stuff like that in the summer, but um, being able to meet her and go over her house and see all the awards that she won, it just really put me forward to really watch tennis even more. But um, other than that, I follow um, the Philadelphia Eagles, the American football team. Um, we're not doing so well as of late, but um, um, I, I watch a lot of American football. And, Tennis, and obviously there's a difference between tennis and uh, basketball with one being an individual sport, one being a team sport. How do you think you would cope if it was if it was an individual sport? Do you think you're the type of person that would cope with that? Yeah, because actually I played tennis when I was in um, high school. I mean, I didn't play, I wasn't able to play competitively because of, of basketball, but I played tennis. But um, I think you probably have to focus more and um, try to get your mind set on like it's just you out there and all the mistakes you make, you're going to have to make up yourself. So I think I'll be able to cope with others and do that. And it's getting a little bit of a tinge of frost on the windscreens now in Newcastle. Uh, how do you think you're going to cope with a cold Newcastle sure. winter? But actually, I like wintertime. I mean, I like cold weather, but to be honest with you, Philadelphia, it, it gets a very, very cold winter. You know, we only get snow every year. Um, it gets freezing cold outside, probably even colder than here. So I'm kind of used to it. And actually, I miss the winter time. I miss the snow and stuff like that. So I don't mind the cold weather. And just finally, by the time this is uploaded, you would have played Worcester top against bottom um, just before the game. How are you expecting things to go? Right, I mean, I, I'm obviously, you know, I expect to come out here and hopefully get a win. But uh, we know they're going to be competitive. You know, they're coming in. It's a good chance for them to um, try to prove themselves, you know, probably get their season in, on the right track. But as long as we do the things that we're able to do, we should be able to come out here and win. And, and then we'll be talking about something different next week. Good job, Al. More next time.